cardio, vascular, fitness training, um, basically endurance training. So it's going to be quite a long session, 45 minutes. Let's get started. Start with our normal jogging. I'll get my camera sorted. Let's go. So jogging, play. Jogging on the spot. Always start the same. Warm up. Nice and easy to start with. Should have measured your heart rate already. Just going to go through that 30 seconds. Ready, jumping jacks. Let's go. Straight arm jacks. Not sure I need that right. Do I really? Do I know? Jump rope next. So just to start getting used to the exercises. Just go nice and easy to start with. And then we'll put some progress. Jump ropes. Just swing to the side. Keep your legs together. Nice and slowly to start with. Just get that heart rate up. Breathe in, soft knees on landing. Okay, high knees, straight arms. Nice, relaxed shoulders. Get that knee up nice and high, keep that abdominal nice and tight. Keep going and switch kicks. Keep your elbows in, nice and in. Just go nice and gradual to start with. Stand that leg, a little kick at the end. Elbows in, core. Make sure we've got a nice soft landing. Okay, want to hit the floor, then up. Try and really get up to touch the floor on the way. Don't need to go fast this first circuit. Okay, next one, uh, floor hops, done this before, one, go, soft, but really kick those legs and heels, so your heels hit your bottom, so it's that little bunny hop, good, keep working if you can, good job, 10 seconds, Really kick those heels, keep your wrists locked. Four, three, two, one. Back to jogging. You feel that on your legs, that one. So starting to go that little bit faster now. Use that core. Your breathing rate should now have increased. Heart rate increased, so cardiovascular system, respiratory system reacts to the demand that we just put on our bodies. So we're going a little bit quicker with those straight arms. Our body now responding. Keep 
Keep breathing. Keep that core nice and tight. Okay, skip ropes. Knees land nice and soft, but twist. Getting those obliques working a little bit, but land soft. Okay, high knees, straight arms. Really trying to get those knees nice and high now. Working. Keep going, keep breathing. Should start to sweat a little bit now. Arms hurting a little bit. Keep them there. Three, two, one, and switch kicks. So now, no rest between. Let's go that a little bit faster. And really do try and kick at the end, keeping those elbows in with that full extension, the leg, elbows in, abdominals in tight, keep working hard and hit the floor. Reach up to the floor, to the sky. Feel those abdominals crunching as you come in and down. Keep working. Okay, hit the floor, body hops. Let's go. Really flick and touch your heels with your bottom. Keep working if you can. 15 more seconds. It's hard on this one. It's good for those shoulders. It's good for those elastic energy in the legs. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to jogging. This time, we're sprinting out, so sprint it, rest if you have to, but sprint if you can. Really nice and light on our toes. Okay, jumping jacks, nice and quick now. Maybe even get those whole arms activated now. Up to you, do straight arms if you like. And then into Hyman. Leading forward. Not done this for a while. And who got it right straight away? So legs are slightly apart and you're leaning from one side to the other. One, two, three. Nice and quick in the middle. Over. When I'm wiser and I'm older, high knees, but nice and fast. This is the last one. We have a water break. Keep that abdominal nice and tight. Lift that knee. Good job. Water break. But as always, this is the time to measure your heart rate. Okay, so let's do that now. Get some water in. Ah, mouth very dry. Okay, starting in three, two, one, and stretch it up and down, up, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Okay, and again, inhale. This time, take it out to flat back, 
slide bend of the knees if you want to. If you, are, if you can, keep the legs nice and long. Okay, head looking down. Keep that position. Straight back. Feel that need to just bend those knees, bend those knees. And keep the legs long. Keep them long. Okay, take that left hand down to the floor. Right hand on to the right knee. I'm just going to shift around a little bit and hold that, so I'm feeling a little bit more in the groin, hold, good, okay, take it over to the other side, left hand on the left knee, and then the other hand on the floor, nice, good, hold that, breathe it, this is a good bit of breathing, I'm going to take this to the hip flexor, the both legs, there, Right hand on the right knee and nice and flat and keep that leg nice and flat and get those hips down to the floor. Okay, take that right hand on the knee up to the back of the room and holding 10, 9, keep that arm nice and straight if you can, 6, 5, 4, look towards the hand and Switch it round, so you're putting that right hand next to the right foot and then we're going to spin it over, spin it up, so you get that arm nice and straight, leg nice and straight, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take it down into that full lunge, if you can, down here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Coming up nice and gentle. Walk it over to the other side. And same stretch. Left knee on left, left hand on left knee. Down, keep it low. Take that left hand up to the back of the room. Get that straight arm up there. Look towards the arm. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then switch hands down. That left hand is pressed against the knee, which helps with that flexibility in the shoulders. Get that arm straight in line with everything. Okay, both feet should be pointing one direction, three, two, one, bring it down, into that full lunge, okay, in that position, bring up, hold that, five, four, three, two, one, bring yourself up, into the middle, on there, hold, feel that in the inside, of your thighs, stretching out that groin, put your hands onto your knees, contract, fairly work the spine, relax, again, contract, fairly work the spine, relax, flat back, one more time, fairly work the spine, straighten your legs, hands down, chin onto chest, Roll up, three, two, one. Bit of breath. Hold on to your right leg. Let's do that quadricep stretch. Oh, I'm, I thought I was balanced. I am balanced, hand comes in front. Push those hips forward. Oh, hips forward. Then change it over. Arm to help stretch, activate the abdominal, hips forward, relax, water break. Okay, could do a uh, measure of your heart right now, but it should be falling down, you should be fully recovered. So now we're going to go into a cardio circuit, so we're going to do 24 different exercises. Some are going to be quite maximum, okay, where you'll maybe need to have to stop, some will be recovery. Okay, so just stay with us if you can. Start with squat jabs. 
which is quite a tiring one. You're going up, down, up, down. Starting, let's go. Really come down into that squat to sit down and then jab, 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 jab. Breathing. Keep going. About 30 seconds. Should be able to feel that on your legs. Tighten those legs. About 20 now. Ten seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Good. The next football runs. Okay. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to be nice and tight. You're going to go down ah, and hold. Okay. You're going to come back up. So I'm just going to say, hit the floor. You're going to go down. Hit the floor and hold it here. Up, spring. Hit the floor. Up, you sprint. No, not sprint to football. Spring, up, hit the floor. Hold it. Up, football. Hit the floor. Hold it. Up, hit the floor. Up. We're going down and low, hold, hit the floor, hold it, so my legs, my arms are bent, up, hit the floor, hold, 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 hold up, hit the floor, up, hit the floor, hold, 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 up, okay, good. So now, I'm gonna do a basketball shot. Four of them, and we're gonna turn. So we do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Do the other side. Ready? So on this side, and go. One, two, Three, four, turn. Two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Try and get low. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, Three, four, one, two, three, four. Try and stay low if you can. Two, three, four. Turn. One, two, four. One, two, three. Finish it off. Good. Nice job. Okay. Next. Right kick. One minute. So we're going to do. In that position, coming up. It's kind of a relaxing one. Elbows in. Should be able to recover a little bit on this. Don't need to go faster, but fully extend that leg. We're going to go for a minute this time. So a little bit longer than what we've been working. I'm just going to come back a little bit, keep going. So your legs slightly coming behind you and then coming up. Flick that leg, so we've got a bit of speed work. So you may be feeling that now. Keep those elbows in, abdominals nice and tight. Keep working. Breathing out on the kick. My leg is starting to get tired. Rest if you have to rest. You can go faster than me, go faster, but this is kind of like a recovery really. Let's see if we can pick it up. Good. 
Keep that core tight. Keep that balance. Okay, switch it over to the other leg. Keep working hard, elbows in. Keep working, straight on that out. Keep working, working. Okay, can we go that faster now on that left leg? Got 10 more seconds. So go, go. Can we go faster? Keep that core tight. Three, two, one, good. Diamond jumps. Okay, so just watch what I wanna do. We're going to go up and touch the ankles together. So it's up and touch. Okay, like a diamond. In the floor! Ready, let's go. Try and get low. On landing. Make sure you're breathing out, in on the way up. Keep working if you can on that movement up. Breathe out, in on the way up. So in, out as you explode. Exhale, three, Two, one, good job. In out push ups and then jacks. Okay, so I'm just going to do four of each. So we're going to do ins and outs. So just in and out for four. Then we're going to do, uh, oh, I'm going to do jack push ups. And then jack push ups. So that's just out with legs. Okay? So let's go. So it's in and out. One, two, three, four. Arms stay where they are. One, two, three, four. Okay? Then we go again. In, in, three, four. Push up jacks. One, two, three, Four. Keep going if you can. In and out. One, two, three, four. Then push ups. One, two, three, four. Then back again. One, two, three, four. Five seconds. One, two, three, four. Keep going if you can. In and out. Last second. One, and Rest if you can. Good. Moving on to famous burpees. So you know how this works. Tell you if you have to. You all know what a burpee is. So down. Moving up. Let's go. Burpee up. One minute. Just going to drink. Keep working. Burpee up, breathe out, in, breathe out, keep working, keep working if you can, burpee up, oh, I've got about 20 seconds left, rest if you will need to, keep going if you can. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. So we're going to do high knee and then sprints for eight. Okay, sprint on the floor. 
high knee. And then sprint, and then down, sprint. Then up to high knee for eight, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, sprint. Six, seven, eight, and then down. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Up high knees, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Spring, one, two, five, six, seven, eight. Then spring on the floor. Up and come, high knees for eight. Seven, eight, spring. Low knee, and then down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Up and come, ten seconds. Two, one more time. Last one, on two, three, five, six, eight. Good. Okay, last kind of high intensity exercise. We're gonna do ski abs. So we're down, this position. We're just gonna bring our legs to the side. Trying to get that knee to the elbow. See my knee gets to the elbow. Keep going if you can. Knee to the elbow. Really good work on the core. Keep working, working on the shoulders as well. Okay, alternate. You can probably just do that one on your knee. And do that. It's too hard. Or rest. Okay, just come back in when you can. About 15 seconds. Oh, really hurts my shoulders here. Okay, got 10 seconds left. Let's keep going. Let's see if we get five more in. One, two, three, four. Last one, five. Ah, oh, killer. Okay, step back, kick. So we're going to go up, step back. Touch the floor, kick, step back, touch the floor. Let's go. Kick, step back. It's a bit of recovery. We're halfway there now, guys. So keep working. Keep those elbows in to remind you of the core that you're working. Get those elbows in as you're kicking. Uh, lost my rhythm there. Just keep working. Work on that kick movement. Get down to touch the floor. Let's change sides. Rhythm needed. Kick, step back. Kick, step back the opposite foot. Kick. Make sure that core is activated, especially when you kick. We kick. We go a little bit quicker. Keep going, about 10 more seconds. Do really well, this is kind of allowing our heart rate to come back down. Keep going. Keep going, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. So next one, gonna do squat twists. So just have a little look. Just going to touch the arm ankle as we squat. Legs come in, legs go out, and you turn and twist. Okay, let's go. In, make sure you're breathing. As you're touching that ankle, breathe out. Okay. 
Get low on the squat. Keep working. See that butt is getting back towards the wall. We're using that oblique side of our stomach to twist. Those legs should be feeling that pain a little bit now. Keep going five, four, three, two, one. Good. Over the river hops. Ah, feel a little bit dizzy. Breathe in. Rest if you have to. So we're just gonna step over, try and control that bounce. We're gonna come out a little bit. So we're gonna over this way. So jump over the river. Arms straight to balance. Come in to keep you that momentum. Good. Jump over the river. Control, soft knees. It's about the control, it's about the balance. And it's about the recovery as well. So you can see this circuit is designed so that we're working hard and then we have one to recover. You can check that with your heart rate. Remember you should be going over your maximum at any point. Okay, good. Attack. We're going to attack now. Attack for two and then switch over. This one I find hard. Two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, turn, one, two, turn, one, two, turn, one, two. Okay, so in this position, we're attacking and then we're turning. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Keep switching, keep working. Okay, use that hand, attack with that hand. Two, one, two. Get low when you one, two. Get low with that hip. One, two, one, two. Go. Two, one, two, one, two. Relax. Good. How are you? Done this before. It hurts my resting leg, really. It's not the leg that's coming up, it's my leg that's supporting the weight. But make sure you're breathing, especially as you kick. Can you go quicker? Ah! It's a killer. Keep going. Good. Switching over. I'm breathing every time just to give myself that relaxation. As you breathe out, you relax. Legs getting tired. Keep going. Last 15 seconds. You get that leg to go a little bit faster now. I can't, but my coordination's disappeared. What is coordination? Ah. Okay, 10 more seconds. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Keep going. 5 more. 3, 2, 1, 
and finish. Good job. Ah. Tired, knackered. What are we doing? Ski down hooks. Okay, again, a little bit of coordination needed for this. So we're going to go over and hook, over and hook. We've done the skis before. Let's go. Hook as you come round. Now, hook can be quite quick. And you can jump high in the hook. Over the river, over the river, or over the log. Oh, my legs are burning. Are your legs burning? So definitely training is pretty good for me in terms of tennis, because this is all legs. And it's kind of short, one minute intervals on the legs, which kind of relates a little bit to tennis. And it's great for body conditioning, body composition. Three, two, one. Ah, relax, good. Ski jump hooks, bell kicks. So you're gonna hold the bell, and then we're just gonna squat, and then kick, squat and kick. Let's go. So again, quite a relaxing one. You can go slower on this. But that last one was pretty exhausting. So this is a nice one to keep the energies up, to keep the muscles working. Muscle endurance. What's muscle endurance? Maintain, isn't it? Maintain for long periods. Well, our legs are definitely having to maintain for long periods. But they're also working that high end and those fast twitch fibers because actually they're working really quickly but then they've got time to recover. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Fast feet, strides. So just have a little watch. We're just going to go up and back like a frog, but we're going to go quick. Okay, that's all we're going to do. Ready? Let's go. So go backwards first, quick feet, touch, touch. If you like my feet, my feet aren't really going very quick at the moment. So that's something I've got to work on. Try and move your feet really quickly between the movements. Get those legs working. Speed, power. Keep going. Quick feet on your toes. Keep working hard. 20 seconds. Keep working. Keep working. Make sure you're breathing. If you have to rest, rest. Grab some water, grab some towel. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good. Push up abs. Ah. Okay. So what we're doing for this one is just push your abs. So you're just going to come up and touch your knee if you can with your shoulder and you're going to do a push-up. don't have to do a push-up if you don't want to. If you are going to do a push-up, you don't need to go all the way down. You just need to go down to that position there. You can do this on your knees as an easier option. Get that core activated. Keep going, keep working. 30 seconds. Oh, I'm slipping load on here. Okay, keep going. I'm not press up in there. Okay, got 10 more seconds. So what's made it useful to do it on the mat. Less slip. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Difficult one. Maybe you need to adapt. But if you did five push-ups, not a problem. Okay, so now we're gonna do 
uh, punches. So we're going to punch. I think we've done this one before. Ready? Let's go. Uh, okay. So your legs can be a little bit further apart at the back there. If you want to make it harder, bring your legs together. Keep that core as you're punching. Nice and quick punch. Breathe in. About 35 seconds. Keep working if you can. If you need to rest or come down onto your knees. Still working that oblique. Working that shoulder hard. Got about 15 seconds. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Two more for long one, two, rest. Good job. Oh, getting there, really getting there now, guys. Okay. Push up abs, plank punches. We've got two more exercises now. We're just going to do, what's this? Jump rope and squat. Okay? Eight jump ropes, let's go. And we're going to do eight squats, which is here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And jump. One, two, three. Nice soft knees. Eight, and then here. Five, six, seven, eight. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And out here. Elbows in. You go lower. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Down. Two, three, six, seven, eight. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. God, that's exhausting. Good. Squat, speed bag. Okay. This is going to be hard now. Get down and speed bag. Last exercise. Keep that abdominal nice and tight. Stay nice and low. Breathing. Get those arms working fast. Keep in that squat position if you can. We've got 30 seconds left. Stay down low. Breathe. Last exercise. And we're on 20 seconds. Can you keep going? Can you go lower? Keep that abdominal tight. Breathe. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, hold it, and up, and relax. Get some water in, get some towels in, record your heart rate. Oh, that was tough. Easy bit now, stretch. Let's do this. Just breathing in. One more breath. And then just come down. Elbows on your thighs. And then just hold that. Both hands down to the floor. Straighten your legs if you can. You might have your fingertips on the floor. If you want to walk out and just touch hands on the floor, hold back, maybe get your legs a little bit further apart to help. Legs straight and breathe. Okay, take it to the right side, hands on the back of your gastronomus, lead 
with the chest, holding, 10, 9, make sure we're breathing, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, take it over to the other side, same here, leave that stretch, pull on the grass remus, and 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, good, bring your legs in a little bit, bring legs in, make sure both legs are together, we're just going to roll up, vertebrae by vertebrae, finishing with shoulder roll, and then breathe, breathe in, take that right leg in front, bend the left leg, and then bring that toe towards you, pulling it, feel that on the back of the legs, especially in the gastrocnemius, pull the lead of the chest, hold, five, four, three, two, one. Step forward, roll up, step back, that left leg goes forward, back leg bends, pull the toes towards you, lead the chest, get the balance, Use your core to keep you balanced and that back leg being bent. Feel that on the gastrocnemius and feel your hamstring also nice and tight. Step forward and then just roll up and then shoulder roll to finish. Okay, coming forward, grab hold of the right leg, get the balance, put your leg left. Uh, Left hand forward, push those hips forward, just like we did before. Feel that on what muscle? You know it's the gastrocnemius. Okay, take it, it's not gastrocnemius, it's here. Okay, quadricep. Okay, hold there, push your hips forward, up, hold, hips forward, knee parallel to the opposite knee. Drop that down, two more breaths. Good job guys. So I'm hoping you're thinking, you know what training, uh, what component of fitness we're working on. You could argue in some areas. But I want you to start thinking, why is that a good program? Is there good things about it? Is there bad things about it? I know I can certainly improve leading it, but in terms of the exercises, were they arranged well? Were they relevant to your sport? These are the questions you need to start asking yourself when you're analyzing your program, which I'm asking you to do over the whole homework. Okay, good job. Bye-bye.